Hey there, it's Melissa Benaroya with Childproof Parenting Live, and I am popping in today to open up some space for you to share some of your thoughts and feelings about letting go. Most people are um, focused on being in the moment of parenting and the difficulties of parenting, and we get to different points in our process and our journey we actually have to step back. Those first two years, we're constantly stepping in, we're guiding, we're coaching, but then there's points where we have to step back. And I wrote a blog post this week, which I hope you'll have a chance to um, take a look. It wasn't actually a blog post, it was a letter that I actually had written for myself um, about letting go of my daughter, who's 14 years old and a freshman in high school. And just acknowledging that I've spent about nine months kind of processing this loss, this loss of having a child, having a young girl to now a young woman. Um, and though I'm happy for her and thrilled that she is independent and becoming her own person, it's really hard to step back and it's hard to deal with when our children start to push us away or reject us and it's not that it's intentional but it's part of the process right this is this is actually what we want for them this is what they need to do this is what's healthy um, and we have small experiences doing this um, or feeling this way from you know the first years of their life when we drop our child at preschool in somebody else's hands that has 12 other children to attend to, right? And we leave, you know, your heart starts to crack open a little bit. Or maybe you take them to elementary school and they're in kindergarten and they cling to your leg. They don't want to go. And that hurts. That just kind of starts to tear that heart open even more. And then they go on to elementary and middle and high school and Ultimately, they leave. They leave home, which many <laughs> parents, and I know I will too, celebrate that moment um, and appreciate that moment. But it's also really challenging, especially when you spend about 18 years of your life uh, taking care of these people and being a big part of their life and then having to step back. So I wanted to create some space for those of you that have had a similar experience to share what that's like for you because it's not something most people talk about. It's something that is very personal um, and it's something that many t people feel like is silly or not worth acknowledging or maybe they're the only sensitive person dealing with these feelings and I don't think that's the case. I know I've spoken to lots of groups of parents of middle school girls over the last year and I think that's one of the hardest things that they've acknowledged is that I don't have this little girl in my life. I have this new person that some people say they don't even recognize or know. And, you know, for me, that's very, that's been the case. I have a very different child than I had a year or two years ago. Um, and she's not a child. She's definitely mature and grown up, um, still needing guidance. That brain is still being formed, lots of changes in the brain, which will go on till the 20s, mid 20s actually. Um, but still a separation, right? And that first separation happens at about 18 to 24 months where they go through a literal separation individuation process where once they actually identified as part of you and then they start seeing themselves as separate, a separate entity, a new conscious awareness. And that's why you see a lot of no, don't, stop, I don't want it, because now they are aware of an opinion. And I think that just tends to repeat <laughs> itself as our children grow older. So I decided to take a risk and share with you a little bit of my experience and what it was like for me as I've gone through this process. And have I come out on the other side? No, I haven't. I'm still going through my own process of mourning and loss and transition. 
but I'm getting there. So I wanted to create space for you to share and, and share in the comments or ask questions. Um, I do want to share, there's an amazing book and I get contacted a lot by parents of teens and tweens and I don't have a lot of programs for teens and tweens, um, but there's a wonderful book by, by Lisa Damore and it's called Untangled and I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link below in case you're interested in taking that out and taking a look at it, but I think it's really valuable and, and acknowledging this this change, this transformation that your daughter's going through, but that you're going through as well. And um, it helps to identify the different stages, right? Everything doesn't happen overnight. It's a process and lot, there's lots of changes that happen over time. So I love how she breaks it down as as girls get older and what those changes will look like or issues that you'll have to deal with. So. I just wanted to put that out there. I know it's not an easy thing to talk about, and I really hesitated myself in sharing um, because it's personal, and it could be embarrassing, and it was a little bit embarrassing for me, but I felt like there was a lot of value there, and I did get many responses for many of you that A, are either going through it, or B, have come out on the other side, which I really value and appreciate um, those messages and emails and comments because... It's wonderful to hear there is a light on the other side um, of this process. So I'm just going to open this up and leave it open as you watch this and just share your thoughts and your comments about your process, what's been hard for you, what's helped you, what you've noticed about yourself or your daughter through this change. So I just wanted to open this forum up for that um, opportunity to share. And I also want to make sure I don't forget to let you know that I'm going to open up my back to school boot camp. And I know many of you are in back to school mode, not everybody, because it depends on what part of the world you are in. But I wanted to take an opportunity to help you reconnect to your parenting and what you want, um, how you want to parent how you connect to yourself. So I've got a five day boot camp coming up. It's October 1st. It's going to be free. Um, we're going to have a private Facebook group for everybody in the boot camp, and you'll get daily emails with great information and practices. And my hope it goes beyond those five days and that you get um, a few great ideas just to make a few little tweaks because those small little tweaks or those small little changes are going to make a huge difference in your parenting and your relationship with your child. All right, so I'm just going to leave this open. I'm going to sign off for today, but I want to thank those of you that popped in and out as I was chatting with you today. Um, and please don't hesitate to post questions, post thoughts, or even email me directly, which you can reach me at melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, -S -S at childproofparenting.com. And I hope to see many of you in our back-to-school boot camp starting October 1st. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.